Hi guys, welcome back ulit sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ang discuss naman natin is yung grade 3 uh, math challenge playlist. So yun, continuation lang nun sa ano, <clears throat> pag-review natin in, the pre in preparation for the 2020 math challenge. So yun, so hello sa mga grade 3 trainers dyan, tsaka dun sa mga coaches natin, pati dun sa mga mathletes. So discuss natin yung mga, uh, some of the uh, questions dun sa math challenge natin para at least may mga bago tayo matutunan or baka kung alam nyo na okay lang din pero dun sa iba para malaman din nila yung mga items na to okay so grade 3 to mga lodi ah okay number 1 uh, a kilogram of tomato costs 160 pesos so 1 kilogram that is equal to 160 pesos okay I only have 400 pesos. So, meron lang 400 pesos, mga lodi. Ang sinabi, how much more money do I need if I want to buy 3 and 1 half kilograms? So, gusto ko na bumili ng 3 and 1 half kilograms ng tomato. Ilan do yung money na kulang ko? So, ang gawin muna natin, yung 3 and 1 half, i-multiply natin sa 160. So, dalawa yung way na pwedeng gawin to. Una, i-multiply mo muna yung 3 times 160. So, that is 3 times 160, that is equal to 480. Tapos, this time, multiply mo yung natirang fraction, that is 1 half, multiplied by 160, therefore, this is 80. So, pag inad natin, 560 pesos. O kaya naman, ang isang way ng pag-multiply is gawin natin tong improper. So, 2 times 3, that's 1, ay 6 plus 1, that's 7. So, that's 7 halves multiplied by... Um, 160, so this is equal to 160 divided by 2, that's 80. So, 70 times 80, lalabas din na 560 pesos. Kaya lang, magkano yung kulang? Meron daw siyang 400. So, yung minus mo lang. So, we have 560 minus 400. Therefore, yung kulang niya is magkano? 160 pesos, mga kids. ba? Diba? Madali lang siya, Sir IJ. Okay, so next item tayo. Okay, next, number 2. So, let's say we have circle plus a square equals 13 and circle minus square that is equal to 7. What is 3 times a circle? So, ganito lang yan, kids. So, pwede nyo naman i-trial and error. Pwede, pero pwede nyo rin gawin na i-add nyo silang dalawa. Pag in mo kasi yung dalawang to, mawawala yung square kasi ito positive, ito minus. So, parang nag-add ka ng square, tapos nag-minus ka ng square, mawawala. Ayun. So, anong gagawin, Sir IJ? So, i-add mo tong dalawang to. So, dalawang circle. So, ang lalabas dito, dalawang circle equals 13 plus 7 kids 20. Ano value ng circle, Sir IJ? 10. So, kung circle is 10, ano value ng 3 times circle? So, 3 times 10 Therefore, ang final answer natin will be equal to 30. So, this is 30, mga Lodi. Okay, ulitin ko ha. Para makuha yung isang number, o kaya yung isang figure, i-add mo lang, then divide 2. So, pag nakuha mo na yung isa, hindi eh, pwede mo na rin makuha yung isa. Di ba, madali lang siya, kids. No? Next. Number 3. Okay, so for number 3, a vendor has 3 boxes of orange to sell. So, meron daw siyang 3 boxes yung vendor. Tapos, there were 20 orange in each box. So, 20 orange kada box per box. If he sold 42 orange, how many oranges were not sold? So, ganito lang yan kids. So, 42 yung nabenta niya. So, 42 oranges yung nasold. Ito yung sold. So, ang gagawin mo lang, kunin mo muna kung ilan yung total number of oranges niya. So, kung 20 orange per box, eh di times mo lang sa 3, o kaya tatlong 20. 20 plus 20 plus 20, that is equal to 60. So, that is 3 times 20, or tatlong 20 lang, that's 60, then minus 42. Therefore, ilang orange mo yung dinabenta? 18 oranges. So, ito yung not sold. So, bali, ito na yung final answer natin mga lodi.
Okay, di ba? Madali lang siya. Okay, next. Number 4. So, ang tanong, Gemma has 12 boxes of candies. So, meron daw siyang 12 box of candies. Okay. In each box, there are 6 candies. Candy, sorry. So, each box, meron kang 6 na candy. Except for 2 boxes. Except 2 which has only so except two boxes which has only four candies each so ang hinahanap how many candies are there in all so ibig sabihin nun kids kung dalawang box yung ano yung may four each lang ilan yung mayroong six each so 12 minus 2 that's 10 so ang gagawin nyo lang yung 10 times nyo sa ilan yung candies kada isa 6 that is 60 tas may dalawang box ka na apat yung candies that is equal to 8 Then, i-add natin, that is equal to 68 candies in all. Okay? So, sige, isang item na lang. So, para at least 5 items yung nasagutan natin for today. So, yung last item. Okay, so ito yung item. So, yung tanong, what is the next number in the sequence, so meron daw tayong 2, 4, 8, 14, blank. So, ganito lang yan kids, parang madali nyong gawin, i-minus nyo lang yung second sa first, third sa second, fourth sa third, and so on. So, i-minus nyo to kids, ilan to? 4 minus 2, that's 2 po, sir IJ. 4 minus 8 minus 4, that's 4. So, 18, 14 minus 8, that's 6. So, kung mapapansin nyo, 2, 4, 6, anong kasunod kids? Siyempre po, 8 po, sir IJ. So, ibig sabihin, mag-add ka ng 8 sa 14. 14 plus 8, that is equal to 22. Therefore, yung final answer natin will be 22, yung next number. So, yun guys, just in case may comments ka or clarifications, don't forget to comment on the comment section below. So, continue lang to subscribe and uh, watch my math video tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and God bless us all. Bye-bye!